craftsmen can be found on all corners of the world. Using our hands to create art has been in our DNA since the beginning of time. Everyone's got the same set of hands, but it's what's in the mind that makes the craftsman's work unique. Light creates contrast, texture, and gives context to any given scene in my work. Painting with light has always been something that's fascinated me in filmmaking. Mother Nature can be just as creative with her light. I'm James, a filmmaker and storyteller from the UK, and today I'm travelling to the French Alps to meet with artist Jan Beitlik as part of the Mazda Discovers series, a series of road trips across Europe where we explore and uncover expert craftsmen and find out what makes them tick. A dive into the mind of a human brain that's enriched with creativity. Since I remember, I was always very attached to the drawing, to handmade techniques. So the, the role of this human touch was uh, always with me. My name is Jan Beitlik, I'm the artist based in Chamonix. My style is very diverse, thanks to my quite wide interests and maybe a complicated character. Very often I got the ideas which are like a form of visualization in your head and they are coming in the moments you cannot predict. I try to describe myself as someone who is like creating different dimensions, different words. I like working on paintings which are based on a gesture, on a big brush or thick lines, something which is very graphic as well as very complicated structures, very narrative at the same time. This variety gives you pure joy and play for me. For me, the art is mainly the field where you can prolongate and explore your imagination. And I think it's really precious, it's like just to be absolutely free. Living in Chamonix influenced my work very much. I think I would never get bored in the mountains. It's so rich and it's so intense. Mountains give you physical perspective, but also just for your mind, they calm your ambitions. It's overwhelming. And you can feel the intensity of the landscape. We really feel the seasons. Every week and every month is different. And I have different ideas in terms of the landscape, the colors we are surrounded by. my perspective, car design is super related with paintings as well as graphic design. When I see any type of car or a shape which reacts with the light, which has its own proportions and values, I see how it's drawn. When I look for the surface of the car, I think the drawing and how the drawing will create the form which can work with the light. The interesting thing with Mazda is Mazda is keeping the tradition of Takumi masters who are working on, on the clay models and I was very surprised how far they go with the clay model in, in the whole design process. With no doubt, like a human touch literally applied to the shape of the car. For me it's something in between craft and design and art. This way of repetition and being a master in your own craft is something really important and typical for, for Japanese culture.
For me, creativity can be broken down into a brief moment of emotion. Spending the day with Ian exposed me to what really goes on inside the mind of an artist. Understanding Yan's philosophy around creativity and his craft has really got me thinking about my own craft. If I've learned anything from this experience, it's that repetition and practice is what builds a great craftsman. So whether you're an artist painting with a brush, or a filmmaker painting with light, or a car designer designing a car with clay. It's pretty evident to me that we really need to look after and cherish these handmade crafts. Stay tuned on Mazda Discovers as Eric Hedenfork visits Morocco to uncover the craft of tile making.